Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and you are welcome to the part 2 of how to design better carousels inside of Canva. In this particular video, I will be taking you through how to plan your carousels. We will be looking at the feelings, you know, how to choose um, a particular feeling you want to attach to your carousel, the photos, the font, colors and all of these things. So if you are with me on this, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. okay so here we are in canva and one thing i want to explain to you and before i even explain to you let me just go into instagram where i have a lot of my carousels okay so you can see oh i was on chelsea i hope if you watched the previous tutorial you know why i came to the chelsea um page <laughs> yeah so this is the thing with carousels when you are about to design your carousel just ask yourself which emotion do you want to send out to your audience because it's one of the most important things we really need to know because once you know the type of emotion you want to send out to people it will help you to choose the photos it will help you to choose the font it will help you to choose the colors and all of these things okay so i would walk through a number of content i made you can see with this one it says how to stand out using canva and with this i wanted to send um, some sort of motivational feeling so i went on to use um, you know photos of um, a boxer sort of thing because normally when you watch boxing or you watch motivation videos or you watch motivational videos you most of the time use you know images or videos of boxers and things like that just to help you um, get motivated so that's the type um, of feeling I wanted to send out so you can see I said how to stand out using Canva like a boss and I went on to use an image of a boxer and you can see I use um a boxing ring everything that has to do with boxing that's what i added here so even with this you can see that with the elements i even use you know they are related to boxing and stuff like that and you, you see this is just an example another example i have here is why i stopped designing carousel the heart with and with this i wanted people to sympathize with me that's why i went using this um you know man's face looking all sad and confused and stuff like that and you see i went on to do a number of explanations and stuff you know so everything just connects to whatever i want to send out in terms of the feeling and i want you all to take note of that okay but continuing i just had to change the whole mood because now I just wanted to announce to my audience that i was back with designing castles so i added you know a happy feeling with bright colors and all of that so you you know you can just understand from the beginning to the latter part of my carousel you know from the beginning it's all sad and moody but getting to the latter part of my carousel i just change the whole mood and how i change the whole mood isn't by just the text alone it's with the photos and colors you can see the expression of this guy's face even changes the whole mood and a lot of people actually recognize it a lot of people recognize it once you go through the comment you would see that people were able to recognize it and with this also i was trying to talk about the secret behind amazing canva designs so with sharing this secret we need something to actually connect okay i wanted to share this feeling where people would be curious to know what you know what secrets are behind my designs especially okay so i just went with this guy using you know having his finger on his lips and um, also you know added my photo because with this i was actually explaining things to people so i just went with this simple um look okay so you can see based on the various castles i've shown to you they all have different feelings and that's what i want us to be able to take note of once we are about to design our carousels the second thing is after you know the type of feeling you want to send out to people it would help you to pick out your images okay because your images and your font and everything will be connected to the feeling you want to send out so let me just go back into canva and um, i just click on create a design then i come to custom dimension i have 1080 by 1350 so i click on that and it should create a new um you know empty slide for me and this is one thing sometimes i i just feel at this sometimes but the thing sometimes i just design my castles off head but the best thing you have to do is to write your script you know have a script written down so that you can look on that to type out you know the write-up normally i call it the write-up so you just write um whatever you want to have in your castles you write it down and that would help you to know how to break it down into 
your character so i did that and you can see that i have it written all here i hardly do this but this time around i just had to to, to do that but this doesn't mean i don't do it at all i do that but most of the time i'm the type of person who just gets an idea and just you know puts it straight into a carousel and then um, fires it on instagram so that's how i get to do things you know sometimes but you need to write it down just like what i've done now so in this case and for the sake of this um training what i would want you to do i would want you to just follow whatever i do step by step so with the same content i'm going to use i want you to also use the same thing okay so that you can create your own version and later on if you want to share it with me you can do that okay and one interesting thing is at the end of this whole training there will be a google form where you can submit your carousels and with this i'll be creating special videos to review any carousel i receive so if you want to be a part of this exciting series you know just follow me throughout and i'll be taking you through how to do all of these interesting things okay so the title of um whatever we're about to create is one way to rock your carousel so in this the main thing is me sharing you know simple tips how people can have interesting carousels okay and i just want all of this to be linked to this particular um training and even with this with whatever i'll be sharing and designing with you i'll post it on instagram so you know later on after this whole chain you can even check on my instagram account at african geeks and you'll find it there okay so yeah let's get started because i want to talk about one way to rock our uh, carousels okay it would help me to pick out um photos okay so i come to photos and um, i can search for rock okay good so you can see we have these um images here so i can right click and find more rock music and i believe i'll get more of that nice one so you can see because of the title i'm using i just want to go with this kind of um feeling with this hardcore feeling that's what i want to use for my carousels okay so i already have a branded font which i use okay so in this case if you do not have a branded font for your design i'd want you to you know there are so many fonts you can use and this time around with your titles you need to be able to pick out one font for your titles and a second font for the details we'll be adding and i will just pick out this font from here because that's the branded font i always use and i just copy it here it's called grief 800 like you can see over here but i don't know some way somehow i just don't understand if it's been taken out of candle because um, a lot of people get to tell me when they search they do not find it so there are so many fonts you can also use and i'll just show you a few of them so i'll just come here so the first one you can use is anton and there's one interesting font you can use we have antonio bold there's also bebas okay and i also created an instagram post where i listed a number of title fonts you can use so you can see it over there on the screen you can check it out on instagram and i believe that um, it would help you so much okay awesome and the second thing we're going to do is to pick a secondary font so with the secondary font is usually um the font we'll be using to write down some details and some explanations so with me i usually use montserrat classic or montserrat so i would search for montserrat okay and i can use the montserrat the regular montserrat over here and you can see it's all caps so i come here and i click on this icon over here so that you know it doesn't make all our text caps then i'll turn off the text effect okay i had some text effect applied there i turn it off so this is the two things i want you to take note of i want you to choose a title font and i also want you to choose um, a secondary font which you're going to use for your additional um text or for your details and stuff like that and the third thing we are going to use is the colors but this time around with the colors we'll be using the colors based on the images we would be um working with so don't worry i just hope you know once you have your text which are the main things and once you also know how to choose your images because your images are always linked to the feeling you want to send out once you know all of these things you know they are just ready to rock so after choosing your text you know since now we know how to choose images because our images would always be linked to the feeling we want to send out i want to just make this clear if you're on the free version of canva you can use websites like on splash you can use pixels you can use pixabay you can use all of these websites i've listed on my screen here to find 
beautiful images for your designs okay so this is what i wanted to share with you and in the next video we'll be looking at designing our carousels so hold on don't go anywhere the next video is just right after this one the name is benjamin and i would see you in my next video